In today's lesson, we're going to discuss how I use the harmonic minor scale. We'll use a simple chord progression as a backdrop to work out some examples, and we'll discuss the theory behind the scale so you have a deep understanding of how to apply it to your own playing. Let's get into it. So to start out, let's learn the harmonic minor scale. In C, the notes are C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B, and then back to C. So this is basically a C natural minor scale, but with a raised seventh degree. So instead of a B flat, we have a B natural. And the way I like to use this scale is when you have a dominant five chord in a minor key. So let's talk about the chord progression we're going to use for these examples. The chords are going to go A flat major 7, G dominant 7, and then finally C minor 7. Now the way I like to tackle playing over a chord progression like this is to first learn the chord voicings in a single position, just like we just played and then learn the corresponding arpeggios that fit with those chords. So for A flat major seven, for G dominant seven, and for C minor seven. These are the chord tones, the notes that live within these chords. And there's a lot we can play with just these notes, targeting them over the different chords. But if we want to connect these together into fluid lines, we have to learn the scales that fit this progression. This is where the harmonic minor scale comes in. Now, most of this chord progression, like the A flat major seven and the C minor seven, we can use a basic C natural minor scale. But when we get to that G7 chord, we have to address the notes that are in the chord. And since G7 has a B natural as the third of the chord, it's tailor-made for this harmonic minor scale. So let's look at a few lick examples utilizing this scale. Now all the tabs and notation for these licks are going to be available over on my Patreon site, along with a little jam track. Um, but for these examples, I'm going to just have a little pad going in the background, a little keyboard pad with the chords underneath so we can hear the underlying harmony. Now this first line is going to play right out of a C minor scale to start. And then right as the chord change comes to this G7, I'm going to drop down to that B natural note. Then I'm going to come up notes right out of the G7 arpeggio. And then again, use some C minor notes uh, to end the lick. And I'm going to do a little interval jump there at the beginning. So it starts out just coming uh, right down the scale in a row and then dropping down to an arpeggio for G7 and then this big uh, octave jump from G uh, down to G and then hitting an F and then ending on D and that D is the ninth of a C minor chord which gives it a nice uh, sound to round out the lick. So here's the lick played along to the chords. Alright, so this next lick example is going to use a little arpeggio for the A flat major 7 chord. We're going to start out by going right up the chord tones to that chord. Right? Literally right out of this A flat major 7 voicing. And then we're going to come down similarly the way we did in the first example. Target that B natural note over the G7 chord. 
And then we're going to do uh, a little enclosure where we actually go down into a lower register. Um, this is a nice little kind of bebop inspired line. Uh, targeting the fifth of the C minor chord. So here's this lick example played along to the chords. So for this third and final example, we're going to stay down in this lower register. And again, we're just going to start out by playing out of a C minor scale. Right, all of that is right out of the C natural minor scale. But then right as we change to the G7 chord, we're going to drop down here and hit our B natural. Again, that's the note that gives this harmonic minor scale its flavor. So. Then we're going to come back up, um, playing right out of the C harmonic minor scale. And then again, as we move to C minor, we're going to target that note D, the ninth of that chord, uh, to give it a little bit of a nice color. Um, but again, everything over the A flat major seven chord and the C minor seven chord are right out of the C natural minor scale. And then we're just switching to that B natural as we go to the G7 chord. So here's this lick against the chords. So this concept is pretty simple, right? We're just playing a harmonic minor scale over a dominant five chord in a minor key. Now the key of C minor, um, you could also look at as the key of E flat major. That's the relative major key. And in this key, you don't naturally have a G7 chord. Actually, the diatonic chord would be a G minor or a G minor seven chord. Um, so making this a G7 chord, you add that major third, the note B natural. And that's uh, what's so great about this harmonic minor scale. Just by shifting to that scale and targeting that one note, it allows you to really outline the sound of that chord um, in a pretty seamless way. So um, I encourage you to Practice this on your own. Try it in different chord progressions. Uh, write chord progressions of your own that have dominant five chords going to minor chords. And try out using this harmonic minor scale. It's a really great scale. Um, it's pretty easy to get under your fingers if it's something new uh, for you. And head over to the Patreon site um, if you want to check out the tabs and notation for the actual licks that I played. And I'll put a little backing track up. I'm going to play a little solo now just over these chords with a little drum groove um, so you can hear kind of how I incorporate this stuff um, in my playing uh, in sort of a natural way so you get these licks kind of in context. Okay, until next time, happy practicing and take care. Mm -hmm.